All right, lads, this was great crack to film, and I think you will definitely be at least mildly, somewhat entertained. I want to give a massive shout out to the sponsor of this video, lads. You know the crack by now. I am hashtag blessed to be doing this crack full time, and without these sponsors, that just wouldn't be possible. So, huge shout out to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. It's basically an app or web extension that lets you place your phone or laptop anywhere the fuck you want across the world. It's totally secure, lads. I search weird shit, you search weird shit. Hashtag no judgment. But whenever you do be doing that sort of stuff, everything you're searching and all your passwords and details are kept totally private. And so the beauty of being able to place yourself anywhere around the world, you can tap into all the different Netflixes. In case you didn't know, the Netflix in America is different than the Netflix in Ireland or the UK. Also, if you're in Ireland and you want to watch the BBC iPlayer, which we can't, you can just change your location to say you're in the UK, bish bash bum, and watch BBC iPlayer player get a bit of match of the day on if you're a liverpool fan city fan title race is on or if you're a fair weather sunshine man united fan like myself you can tune in as well i think 95 percent of us are fair weather fans let's be honest and they have an outrageous sale on lads use the code guinness to get 83 percent off i repeat 83 percent off plus three months for free scandalous the link is the first thing in the description. You support them, means you support me. Enjoy the video, lads. Right, lads, what's the crack? Best gay bar Guinness in Dublin. I've wanted to do this video for a long, long time since I started the channel. I think we got four bars. We got Panty Bar, Penny Lane beside it on, is this Table Street? Or we're near Table Street. Um, and then over the Haypenny Bridge, we've got Street 66, it's meant to be an absolute class bar, and the world renowned. The George. Let's hit these four spots. Let's see which gay bar in Dublin has the best pint of Guinness. Right, that's Pub Warner. The mic up to me now. It's buzzing in here. It's loud. It's proud, it's good crack. It's about six o'clock, half five, six o'clock on a Saturday. Um, I wanted to come on a Saturday, I wanted to get a bit of, soak up a bit of atmosphere. I usually go to the old lad pubs. I just want a quiet corner, but if we're gonna do gay bars, we might as well do it right. Cheers lads, 570 for this. Looks creamy, looks good. The head could be a little bit thicker, um, but not too many bubbles in the head. Do you wanna get a little close up there, cat? Old style glass, very happy with that. Feels like a good temperature. Panty bar up to, off to a great start. Launcher lads. Great start. Cracking start. When I walked in, I was wondering what will be the flow of Guinness like in here. What will be what will the flow of Guinness like be in here? Um, and then I saw the bar woman was pouring plenty of pints of Guinness before I even ordered, so I was thinking, great, everyone talks about the flow, does it matter? Does do they need to have poured loads of points before you got there for it to be good? That'll be debated till the end of time. But anyway, this is great crack. I'm having a great time. with Mrs. Guru, aka Cat, back behind the camera. It's been a while. Hopefully the hands are steady. Looks good to me. And the pint looks good and tastes good to me. Cracking stuff. Yeah, that, that's decent gear. I said it to the girl at the bar what I was doing. Don't know how much she really understood what shite I was talking, but she kind of she was sound. She just said, "Yeah, grand." Sometimes, if they're unsure of what I'm saying, they can kind of be like, "Oh, I need to ask a manager, or whatever." But she was just like, she stood up, no mess with her. She said, "Yeah, work away, lad. No bother." What a start! I'm just I'm full of energy. I, I'm so used to doing the reviews in quiet pubs on like a Tuesday afternoon at two o'clock and like having just no noise, no atmosphere around. So what a time to be alive. Sunny day in Dublin. <laughs> shtick looking serious already. People do argue and I would agree. The shtick looks good on my points, usually because I drink them so quick. So the camera battery doesn't last forever and you don't want to hear me talking forever. So I try to drink them in under like five minutes, which is, if you were doing that all night, you'd be absolutely off your tits, so. Um, but yeah, we, we struggled to find a table in here. Um, got a nice table by the window. I wanted to go um, when it was gonna be busy enough to have an atmosphere, but not too busy that we wouldn't get a seat, so. Seems as though 
we came at the absolute perfect time, so about 6 o'clock on a Saturday. And shout out to Alan Young, a good friend of mine, knows his way in and out of these bars, gave me loads of tips. So shout out to you, Alan. Lads, that's a good point. Very good point. A little close up on the shtick. Oh, baby. Look at that. That's unbelievable. Only creamy finish at the end, as we love. I can't get over the shtick. And sometimes the stick sticks to a dirty glass. That glass was absolutely pristine, perfect. Fair play to Panty Bliss. Cracking the whip. No dirty glasses around the Panty Bar. That is very impressive. So there's not a whole lot wrong with that point, lads. I'm going to have to go. Like, the temperature was perfect. Also, a glass, good stick. The head could have been a little bit thicker, but it was still a very creamy point, and the cream stayed all the way to the end. That's going to have to go... 8.2 lads, pleasantly surprised, panty bar, 8.2, serious shtick, serious atmosphere. Right lads, we're right across the road to panty bar, I think the sister bar of panty bar, Penny Lane Cafe, let's go in and get a nice creamer. Lunch, lads. I'll tuck in and then I'll talk. Tell you what, lads. Gay bars are setting some standard here. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be coming back here for bites. Um, the only shame, the only coaster I got is an Island's Edge coaster. Same across the road. What can you do? No Guinness coasters anymore. So I think this is the sister bar of Panty Bar, literally right across the road. Um, I don't know, would you say a little bit more kind of high-end Panty Bar seems, I'm sure the two of them get pretty crazy on, on, in, the, at, in the evening, but Panty Bar seems a little bit more kind of razzle-dazzle, whereas this seems a little bit more suave, Rico suave, whoever the hell he is, but that's what's coming to mind. Really nice on the inside, um, ceiling's a little bit lower, a little bit more intimate maybe better for a kind of sexy date, I don't know. Um, and then you've got this background out here. This little beer garden is absolutely unbelievable and there's actually nowhere outside of Panty Bar to, to drink. So maybe during the summer, summer's coming up, this place could be the shout. But yeah, absolute creamer once again. Yeah. <laughs> um, these places know how to pour a good pint of feckin' G. Yeah, I, 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 I could sit here all day. This is absolutely lovely. There's like, there's heaters. It's, it's, it's the end of April. You think it'll be starting to get warm, but you know what Ireland is like. It's, uh, it's just not. It's still freezing. It's windy. So we've got these heaters. They're not blasting, but they're nice. This is, I nearly call this a beer yard more than a beer garden because garden is a bit like rah, 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 points and frags, rah, 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 whereas this is just lovely. It's like a little courtyard. It's absolutely divine. And the pint ain't too bad either. Also a glass. Ever so slightly warmer than Panty Bar, I think. Yeah, I think Panty Bar is going to pip it. Although this one nearly looked better. You just never know. You can't judge a book by its cover. You can't judge a pint by the look of it. Great experience so far. So these two bars are literally perpendicular adjacent I don't know which is the right word to use but they're right beside each other and then we're gonna walk about five ten minutes over the Haypenny Bridge we're gonna hit up Street 66 meant to be an absolute lovely lovely bar there was a there was a list put out it was a TripAdvisor or Lonely Planet 20 best bars and pubs in Ireland and Street 66 popped up on there they do, didn't do it in order now but um, you had the cobblestone grave diggers I think um, and then Street 66, so I've been, I've been told by the people in the know that Street 66 is the most kind of, what's the word, um, the, the nicest of these bars, but like, 
we've definitely got an absolute contrast here. And if, to be fair to Panty Bliss, if you're going to open a sister pub right beside you, you, you'd want to make it a little bit different. So for the lads who don't fancy the, the, quite this, maybe you've, you've gotten on a little bit in age and you don't quite fancy the madness of Panty Bar anymore, across your pop to Penny Lane. Lovely name for a pub as well. Point is good, not quite as up to standard of Panty Bar. And it's always an interesting thing because two pubs run by the same people but they can't get the pint the exact same. But it comes down to so many different things. Um, and definitely, like you would have seen in the Q&A with Kieran from the Gravediggers in the last video, a lot of it does come down to the expertise of the person pouring the pint. So, um, yeah, but no, this is not by no means a bad pint, but the one in Panty Bar was, was really, really good. So still, also a glass, stick looking good from kind of three quarters downwards, temperature, pretty much bang on. This is the thing, the head looked creamier on this pint, and it was thinner on the last pint in Panty Bar, but the Panty Bar pint with the thinner head was the creamier of the two pints. So you just don't know, you cannot judge by the look of it, lads. You see these pictures on Instagram, the picture of this pint probably would get more likes on an Instagram post or a Twitter post, but at the end of the day, the pint in Panty Bar was better. So, Panty Bar been around longer, the OG, maybe they just know a little bit more what they're doing. Um, this is still good. This is gonna be around a 7.7. .7. Still a really decent pint, just slight bit of aftertaste. But yeah, a good creamy pint. 7.7 .7 for Penny Lane. Panty Bar in the lead. Right lads, she's a windy one, just crossing the bridge. Uh, from north side to south side, heading to street 66 now. Two decent points so far. Pub three of four, street 66. I've heard this is absolutely lovely bar inside. Looks pretty busy, but hopefully we'll get some sort of a seat. Street 66, literally five minute walk over the bridge down to the south side from Panty Bar. Let's go. Can I grab a photo with you quickly? Yeah. yeah. Can you give me two seconds? I'm oh, doing sorry, the review. Yeah, I'm not being rude. I don't no, want to go yeah, bad. Yeah. I'll come over to you in a sec, all right? Yeah. I'll come over to you in one sec. Oh. Or one sec. How are you, lads? Right. I'm fucking flustered here. Uh, it's, I'm drinking this. As predicted, it's the most busy bar we've been in yet. Um, I had a feeling you go over the bridge, hitting to the south side. It's, 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 I wouldn't say it's madness in there, it's busy. Uh, spoke to the woman behind the bar, she was very sound, um, said, yeah, no problem, I'll give you the pint for free, and I was trying to pay for it. She was having none of it. Sitting outside because you wouldn't be able to hear a word inside, I'll hopefully get a little bit of footage, and then trying to, this is the thing, when you don't set yourself up, this is why I do it midweek, because when you don't get to set yourself up, you're ordering at the bar, they hand you the pint, and then you're legging it to try to get somewhere to sit and drink the pint before it goes bad, because the last thing I want to do, like I always say, is give a place a bad review, because I, I myself took too long to drink the pint. So I rushed out here, and then, just as I'm about to take the first up, a lad comes up and asks for a picture, and I felt like such a prick. I was like, give me two minutes, I'm just doing a review, because I don't, like that, I. That's bad out from me, bad form for me on Street 66 if I let the pint go bad. Do you know what I mean? So that was a, that was a crazy few minutes, but we're good. And so listen, what did I expect coming into Dublin on a Saturday afternoon? Again, all side glass, pretty good temperature. I think Panty Bar was the coldest one I got, but that's not to say that's the perfect temperature. But I do feel like I like it a little bit colder than maybe Guinness would say. Nothing like the extra cold now. But I think I do like it a little bit colder than Guinness would, um, would the, the amount of degrees they would promote. Um, also, yeah, have not gotten a single new style of glass since I got here. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I feel like they are slowly, what's the word? I can't think of a smart word to say. Getting rid of the um, 
new style glass. It's seeing it less and less and less um, in in Dublin. I feel like two, three years ago, any pub that wasn't a typical old man pub would have new style glasses. This place and the last two places, no one messing about. Old style glass. The revolution has been a success. Fuck the new style glass. Old style glass for life. your man is gone I feel like I'm absolute prick now yeah. what can you do this is the life <clears throat> the influencer YouTuber life yeah good point I hope you can hear me it's pretty cold out here uh, windy but yeah we're calm now we're having a nice pint stick looking like it's going to be good again bouncer on the way in was bang on he was like uh, you know it's like a bar <laughs> I was like yeah I know it's a bar bud, but thank you very much for the warning because in fairness like you'd, you'd walk in somewhere like here it just looks like it's just kind of buzzing you might know by panty bar because they've got like all the massive on the outside it might kind of give you a bit of a sign but uh penny lane and here you wouldn't have a clue but sure who gives a bollocks a bar is a bar but it is just funny the way like they see a guy who's uh obviously straight and it's just like you know it's a gay bar pal <laughs> the heads up but yeah good point what are we saying in between? What did we have? We had an eight. Dreamer Cat was an eight two in the first place. Eight two, a seven seven. I think Pandy Bar is still going to be in the lead. I think it's been a great success so far. I would argue that George Panty Bar is quite famous because of Panty Bliss, but I would don't even need to argue. It's so obvious. The George is like the gold standard in terms of gay bars in Dublin. Everybody knows. Everybody George's up there with coppers interesting to see what the George is like at like seven half seven on a Saturday obviously it, it turns into apparently it turns into a proper clubby club and it's pure carnage after like 10 o'clock but um, hopefully just a similar vibe to this just go crack decent point look at the shtick on that all the way from the top no messing about again I haven't had a single pint today that wasn't um, a creamy head till the end so yeah, look at that beautiful pint. Again, it's pretty close between the gay bars. With an 8-2, a 7-7. Seven, seven. This is probably right there in the middle. This is like a a 7.9. Can't quite give it the 8. Um, slightly, not quite as thick, even though the head would suggest otherwise creamy, but not quite as creamy as the first pint. And also, tastes just not quite as smooth and rich as Panty Bar. 7.9, very respectable score for street 66 right lads we're here uh, arguably the greatest of all time the goat of dublin gay bars irish gay bars to be honest you think dublin gay bars you think the george everyone knows everyone's heard it it's up there with coppers it's world renowned i've no idea what to expect it's only about 10 past maybe quarter past half seven so i don't think it's going to be too crazy but um we've had three really good pints of guinness so far the standard has been set high um, is it going to fall in the George? Time will tell. Let's go in. Right, lads. Here we go. I am in the carnage. The heart of the beast here. The heart of the gay beast in Dublin. The George, the goat, the one and only. As expected, it's absolutely carnage. Um, on the way in, the bouncer told me I'd get a better pint in the little bar next door. Um, but I said, look, i got to go to the proper part of the George. I'm sorry. So, so if this pint is shy, I'm sorry. Already seeing a bit of grease slash wet on the outside of the pint. But anyway, slanch it. Doesn't look great. I won't lie. But what you expect? It's like, it's like, it's giving me coppers vibes. Oh, that's got a roasted taste of it. Tastes like Island's Edge or something. Um, but yeah, good crack. I, I gotta say, I've never seen a barman work as quick in my entire life. That man was, and I'm not breaking a sweat either. He was taking about 14 people's orders at one time, pouring the Guinness at the right time, stuff like that. Not his fault, it's probably not gonna be a great pint, but never seen a barman work so quick. Um, but yeah, the George, it's, again, it's like I said, it's giving me Copper's vibes. Even the red lightning is giving me Copper's vibes. Um, I'm sure next door will be a good point, but everyone wants to see 
to the actual point in the proper charge where you're going to be at one o'clock in the morning on a Saturday night off your head that's what they want I don't think anyone was expecting much yeah I mean what can I say it's not great um, <laughs> again as expected again also a glass I can't believe four out of four of these pubs bars have had the also a glass that new glass lads it's gone I know they call it a new glass, it's actually 10 years old, 2012 it came out. I think it's dying. I think they're secretly getting rid of it and they're never going to say anything and then all of a sudden there's just going to be no new glasses in bars and no one, everyone's just going to forget it ever came out in 2012. And dead fucking right. And inter yeah, it was very funny, two, bar two bouncers, I actually walked up to the door of the, the side bar, it's, it says the George as well. Claude the bouncer was like come in here for a point it's better than the main nightclub part I said I don't want to break your heart Claude but like that I gotta go in people want to see the carnage of the George um, and then the other bouncer was bang on as well he was like no go in next door go in next door I was like no I can't I gotta go in to the real George so here we are but as expected point isn't great but what can you do the vibes are good and it's only about half seven on a Saturday. This place will be on wheels later on. For some reason, it doesn't even taste like, there's not like an awful taste of it, but there's a weird roasted like coffee island's edge kind of flavor off it. Um, I don't know what that's about, but it, unfortunately not gonna be a great score. You can tell that, I don't think it was a dirty glass. I think it was a wet glass. You can see the stick is just kind of slipping down. It's, it's sticking to it, but it's kind of falling down, slipping down. That's how you know the glass was wet. I don't think it was necessarily dirty. I think if the glass was dirty, it would kind of just hug the glass. Um, well, yeah, what are we saying about this? I don't know, am I tripping balls or is that... Does that glass come out a bit more at the bottom or something? Is it like slightly different? That doesn't look like a Guinness glass, to be honest with you. That's a bit of a weird one. I don't think that's a Guinness tulip glass. I've been doing this long enough to know I thought you a phony glass when I see it. Maybe the bottom is wider so like it helps it doesn't spill as much or something. But I'm gonna go. I mean it's just not that great. And I knew I would have gotten a better one next door, but I have to come in here. 6.1. I mean it's unfortunate the standard has been really good all day, but again, this is basically an iClub. Uh, and it's like coming into copper, so. Yeah, 6.1, not great. Bit of a weird roasty flavor off it. The head was taken off, creamy-ish. Um, but at the end of the day, it's the George. And it's the atmosphere is unbelievable. And it's, no matter what I say about the Guinness, the George is the GOAT, the greatest of all time of Irish gay bars in my mind. Thank you for watching, lads. Huge shout out to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Link is in the description. We'll see you in the next video.